In this video, we're going to do everybody's favorite, a word problem. So here it is. A company selling concert tickets finds that they will sell 50 tickets if they charge $75 per ticket. But if they increase the price by $3 per ticket, they sell two fewer tickets. And the opposite happens. If they decrease the ticket price by $3, they're going to sell two more tickets. So the goal of this problem is to write an equation for the number of tickets sold at any given price. So let's take a look at this before we try doing the equation part. Let's see if we can get some idea of what's going on. The first line there says that they will sell 50 tickets if they charge $75 per ticket. Okay, that's good, but that's not going to be enough to write an equation. We're going to need a little bit more information, like the next line. For every $3 increase in price, you sell two fewer tickets. So that means if you increase the price to $78 per ticket, you're going to sell 48 tickets. And we can check this again. Increase the price by three more. Ticket sales go down by two. So it seems like every time you increase the price by three, the tickets will go down by two. This is a linear relationship. Increase by three, down by two. Increase by three, down by two. Every single time. So now we're able to tack tackle this write an equation part. What type of equation are we going to write? Well, it's going to be a linear equation. And the reason is because of that linear relationship we saw on the previous slide. But there are two variables here, y and x. We need to figure out which one is which in our problem x is what's known as the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. So when we're looking for our two variables, tickets and price, we need to figure out which one's x and which one's y. The easiest way to do this is to ask yourself which one depends on the other. The one that depends on the other is going to be the dependent variable, that's going to be your y. So let's see, does the price depend on the number of tickets you sell or do the number of tickets you sell depend on the price that you set the tickets? It's definitely the last one. The number of tickets is the dependent variable. So your x is price and your y is tickets. So if you remember from the first slide, we wrote out these numbers. Now we're going to try to write a linear equation. The best way to do this is to put these into points. So price is x and tickets y, so we have a point 7550, and we have another point 7848. All we have to do is find the equation of a line through those two points. If you remember in the last video, equation of a line this is exactly what we did. Now if you rewatch that video or if you try it yourself, here's what you're going to get. Now let's analyze this a little bit more. If you remember, y was the number of tickets and x was the price. But these letters aren't very helpful in our situation. Price may be better denoted by the letter p instead of x, and tickets, that's a quantity, the number of tickets. You could change that to Q. So all I did here was I changed the variable letters just to more accurately represent what's going on in our problem. Now it's probably a good time to check whether or not your answer is correct. And the way you do this is by plugging in one of the numbers that they told you. If you remember, if you sold the tickets for $75 each, you would sell 50 tickets. So if you plug in 75 for P, you get 50 for Q. So that's how you check it. Your turn to do a very similar problem. 